Hey guys, it's Safia here and you're watching The Talk Eye. K-pop band TXT only launched this year, but they're going from strength to strength already and with the full support of BTS. Not only that, it looks like BTS and TXT have actually collaborated on a reality TV show. So yep, stay tuned as we share all of the details. Okay, so news broke recently that TXT may be starring in their very own reality TV show. Yep, it was reported that multiple industry insiders confirmed the show is set to be produced by a South Korean music channel and is set to air sometime in June this year. Now it's also been reported that BTS will also be starring in the show, showing their support for their big hit and entertainment label mate. Yet many people are curious about the chemistry between these two groups. Now the channel actually producing the show has already responded to these reports saying nothing has yet been officially decided regarding TXT's reality show. But are they just hiding details so they don't give much away? Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comment section. Now, the success of TXT has already been pretty unbelievable. It's crazy to think they have come this far after less than a year of actually being together. Yet time and time again, they're proving that they're in a league of their own. Yet they recently set a new record with their debut mini album, The Dreamcatcher Star. Yet the new K-pop band is proving so popular, they quickly became the highest selling K-pop rookie act of 2019. Yet their first EP, The Dream Chapter Star, came out March 4th and sold a total of 77,996 copies just from March 4th to March 10th. Yet this new feat follows the impressive debut of TXT on iTunes chart. Now, this saw the boy group take the spot in 44 countries, including the USA, Brazil, Spain, Russia, India, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And their music videos have been a huge success too. Yep, the music video of One Day Horns Grew From My Head, or Crown, is actually leading in the 2019 K-pop rookie releases in terms of the fastest music video to reach 10 million views on YouTube. Yet they reached the 10 million mark in just 13 hours. Now it also recorded the highest views in 24 hours for a rookie boy group with more than 15.1 million views. Yep, it got more than 32 million views after just a week of being released. Yep, these boys are breaking record after record. New JYP Entertainment girl group, ITZY, recently took over the title of fastest music video to reach 10 million views on YouTube. That was for their debut music video, Fidala Dalla. Now that hit 14 million views in the first 24 hours, but that record has now been broken by TXT. Now we talked about a reality show produced by a South Korean music channel earlier, but we're already getting a glimpse into the reality of these boys' lives. Yet they already have their debut reality show, Talk X Today, which is on their V Live channel. Yep, it showcases the boys going through their everyday lives, and we get to see the boys' charm and personalities firsthand. Now, with their involvement with the reality shows, it's clear the boys wants the world to get to know them for who they are. And it's clear that BTS feels the same way too, which may be why we're hearing about their involvement in the reality show too. In fact, BTS recently spoke about how they aren't planning on switching up their identities anytime too, despite their increasing success and popularity worldwide. In an interview, the band talked about how difficult it is for K-pop bands to climb the charts and earn accolades in the Western entertainment industry. But that doesn't mean the band will change themselves to do so. RM, the group's leader, explained, If we sing suddenly in full English and change all these other things, then that's not BTS. We'll do everything we'll try, but if we can't get number one or number five, that's okay. Now, RM also opened up about the struggles that Asian groups have to succeed in the US. He explained, you know, Latin pop has its own Grammys in America and it's quite different. I don't want to compare, but I think it's even harder as an Asian group. A Hot 100 and a Grammy nomination, these are our goals, but they're just goals. We don't want to change our identity or our genuineness to get the number one. Now, DJ, producer, and frequent collaborator with the group, Steve Aoki, opened up and revealed he feels the band has more than just a chance to stand at the top. He explained, I think it's 100% possible that a song sung entirely in Korean could crack the top of the Hot 100. I firmly believe that. 
and I really firmly believe that BTS can be the group to do that. It's going to pave the way for a lot of other groups, which they've already been doing. And when that happens, we're all going to celebrate. Steve also explained that although K-pop has yet to fully break into mainstream channels, there's a beauty in discovering the genre itself, saying it hasn't been appreciated. But I think that's the great thing about K-pop. You have to discover it yourself. It's not going to be out there in the media, spreading its wings for everyone to see. You have to find it yourself. When you do, you find an incredible community of people who really know the culture so well, and they can help guide you through what is complex and beautiful about the culture. And ultimately, he says, it's a medium to bridge cultures, which is why he won't stop working with international acts. He explained, at the end of the day, music is a universal community and collaborations that I've done and collaborations like mine help in uniting music even further. Well, it looks like TXT may also be enjoying more success in the US. Yet it was revealed they recently signed a deal with Republic Records. This is an American record label owned by Universal Music Group. This is also the home to Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Post Malone, Nicki Minaj, Drake, the Jonas Brothers and more. So yep, it's been announced that they've signed a distribution deal. So they're expected to have active international promotions. Yep, so not only are TXT going from strength to strength, just like BTS, so is K-pop music as a whole internationally. Well, as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this, so please get chatting in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to The Talker, guys. We'll catch you next time.